I'm David Venturesfield, I'm Connor's dad, and uh, Connor was born at 25 uh, weeks, uh, so very premature, and he suffered a very bad bleed on his brain on the first 24 hours of his life, which unfortunately left him with cerebral palsy, and incredibly weak down the right-hand side of his body. What that's meant is, is that Connor's grown, it's been difficult to use the right-hand side of his body as much as the left, so we've had to work very hard at stimulating that right-hand side through physiotherapy, um, with Stephanie Ween, our private physio, recently trying to get him to put some weight on that right leg for walking. And we've been trying for the last couple of years to get him to mobilise, to get him up onto his feet, but he very cleverly refuses to put weight on that side. Yeah. So we're not sure whether it's pain, there may be a little bit of that in there, or whether it's become a habit that he just puts all his weight on his left leg. So because of this, he's started to get some muscle imbalance, so the left leg is now much stronger, really, than the right leg. It is very difficult to get Connor to walk, but we do believe that he can walk. There's no real reason that he can't, but we do need to make sure he puts enough weight through that right leg to get the muscles stimulated. That's quite difficult to do because he's getting heavier and heavier, so lifting him manually is difficult. Um, so what we're trying to do is come up with ways that we can actually support that, and the inner walk device is fantastic for, for allowing us to do that. What it does is it allows him to walk an AD without us holding him and replicates that motion so that actually um, he's putting weight through the right hand side and he's forced to put weight through that right side. He's very good at avoiding doing that. So actually it means that if we can get him the inner walk, it can give us a real chance of getting him using the muscles that we need. He's got some operations to come on that right leg, so anything that can help him through that process and help keep those muscles strong is going to be really important. The trial seems to be saying is that the legs will get stronger just from the fact that you're repeating a motion. Um, for him especially because of that not putting any weight through the right leg, if he can get that right leg stronger, then we should be able to translate that into normal walking. The main thing with Connor is that putting weight on that side. The other thing is that because his leg is turning in, whenever we do do exercises with him, he's kind of using the muscles to turn his leg in instead of having them straight. So what the inner walk will do is have his legs straight as he's taking these steps, so the muscles will be getting stronger in the right kind of pattern, which again should translate into him being on the ground. Health-wise, the inner walk would be great for cardiovascular system, for digestion, to get better sleep so that you have better energy and all these kind of things which are going to help him with all his development, all different kind of areas. For the last two years since um, we've been doing fairly intensive physio with Connor, we've been trying all kinds of different ways to try to get his weight on that side, on the right side. Um, so by standing frames, walking slings and a load of therapy and he still somehow manages to contort his body so that he's putting all his weight on the left leg. It may improve with a lot, a lot, a lot of time and effort, but it's, it's something like the inner walk will just make all the difference, really. Um, we think the inner walk will be a great way of giving Connor the chance to walk normally um, and mean that he can have a much better life. <laughs> Connor, can you say, I'm running? Ha 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 ha!